the last fight for the night. The category raises Germany, to 81.4. Uh, Germany mixed fight too. And, and all the, 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 the bosses. Pro, uh, the world <laughs> title of Vaco Pro by K1 rules. The referee, Mario Ivanov. And now, let me present you the contender. In the red corner, from Germany, please welcome Sergei Brown! Sergey is 31 years old, 179 centimeters tall. He's two-time WKU world champion, WFMC world champion, mixed fight champion, IFK World Karate Kyokushin Championship. He got third place in this. All Japan World Tournament, he got another third place there. Two wins and Senshi at Senshi by far. One more time, make some noise for Sergey Brown from Germany! This is Senshi 7, and we're continuing with the guy in the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, let's make some noise for Alexander Menkovic from Serbia! Alexander is just 24 years old, 188 centimeters tall, and he is the Vaco Pro World Champion K1 rules for two categories, 78.1 kilograms and 81.4 kilograms. He's Vaco World Champion in 2019, Vaco European Champion in 2016, and the World Games winner in 2017. One more time, make some noise for Alexander Menkovic from Serbia! Before the fight, we're gonna hear the national anthems of Germany and Serbia. Good luck to you guys. Okay, we're all set for the main event of the evening. Just 24 years of age, Alexander Menkovic, fighting for the world title, defending against Sergey Brown. Five round K1 rules. A lot of a height advantage. Yes, for Alexander Menkovic in the blue corner. Let's see if this will help him out. Sergey Brown, known for his brutal low kicks and good boxing. Oh, no, nice left hook by Menkovic. Pick it up, eh? Come forward. Back 
Nice one two combination by Sergey Brown. Enemy good combination. Boxing with low gigs. But always dangerous, spinning big fish, you know. Yes, you can end up in a bad position. <laughs> Really good uh, display of technique and skill and tactic by both of them. Not really rushing yeah, too much. Yeah, but you see hand, legs, good combination. Uh, yes. Not only boxing yes. and kicking. They you make good combination. You can tell that those are high caliber guys. Yeah. Now good hooks by Menkovic. Oh, he's swinging 100% now. Good to make a lot of low kicks, you know what hurts. Oh, get a low kick. Three, four low kicks out of this round. Nice uh, boxing combination by Alexander Menkovic, and we see that not, uh, not the fact that he's uh, tall, is actually helping him. He's getting in a close distance and trading punches in the close distance with Sergey Brown. Yeah. Very, very good round. I think I would actually give it this one to Alexander Menkovic, though. Yeah, I think so too. He's a little bit more around, I think, with the combination now. Yeah, but we saw in the five yeah. round finds that uh, even if you lose the first yeah, round or two, you can get back. After three rounds, then the fight starts. First three rounds, everybody have condition. Yes. Start the three rounds, the man with the hammer come. First round, everybody strong. Yes, yes. And especially in this division, in the middleweight division, you get guys that are strong and fast at the same time. Yeah. yeah like yeah. in the light division, they're only fast, yeah. but not so strong. But in the middleweight division. Good. Okay, we all set for round two. Just a bit of tape to be put on the glove of Alexander Menkovic. Second round, time, fight! Good body shot by Sergey Brown. Sergey Brown is really looking for that spinning kick to the liver. Yeah. At his last performance at Senshi, he got a knockout with this one. That was really close. If that landed clean, too. Nice punch to the body again by Sergey Brown. Two hooks by Sergey yeah. Brown followed up, but both guys... A little guys bit boxing too much. You have to follow with the legs. Yes, yes. See, you have to follow with the legs. See, that... Serbian so guy make more combination. Punch, punch, kick. This Brown is more boxing. Uh. We're halfway through the second round.
Nice, no, super uh, good. Uh, uh, They all made the combination with the low geek. Seems like uh, Sergey Brown wants to run through his opponent and outpower him with his punches. But uh, Menkovic handles those really well. The, thing, the good thing is he made good low geeks in the beginning. And then uh, three, four rounds later, the first one is okay. Yes. When you get 10, 15 low geeks on the same place, yes. and it's going to hurt, believe me. Yes, just like the body punches we saw in one of the previous fights with Edward Alexanian, he kept on punching the body, and <laughs> in the fifth round he got the technical knockout with the with a punch in the body. Yeah. So we might not see the damage, but the damage accumulates. Yeah, yeah but like the leg kicks, the more you get and the longer it takes, the more it goes hurt. Every round, when you have one minute rest, it's getting stiff. Yeah. That was a slip, that's not a knockdown. That was a close round too. Uh, but uh, still, I think it goes to the blue corner, Alexander Menkovic. I think so. He make a little bit more combination. Brown is a little bit poaching only too much. Yes. Make some yes. combinations, but the Serbian guy make finish with the low kick many times. Yeah. Basrutan likes those, yeah? <laughs> Basrutan likes punches to go. Is there a from Taekwondo, you know? Yeah. Basrutan, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's a funny guy, I like him. Right hook by Alexander Menkovic. Now he follows up with knees. But he's allowed only one knee in the clinch. He cannot pull the head and place knees to the head. Brown one make the pressure to make all the time the distance. Out of nowhere, Oof. this could be the game changer in this match. Let's see if Menkovic can get up from this one. Yes, he will keep on fighting this for a world title. He cannot quit just like that. But now Brown smells blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to go. Yeah, every one of those getting ups is really a tiring. Oh, another uppercut by Sergey Brown. Really good. One more eight count is finished. Yeah, but now oh, one minute to go. Oh, finished. Wow. Two time eight count and one round is yes. finished. To make the, give the trophy. Yes, thank you so much, Peter, oh, for commentating so again with me. It was a huge honor. Oh, that was the main event of the evening. Sergey Brown will be the new Waco Pro World Champion in 81.1 kilogram division.
Peter Arts that commentated with me will now go to give the award to Sergey Brown. Another win at Senshi. Three out of three now for Sergey Brown. Amazing performance by him. And with this bout, we finish the seventh edition of Senshi. We had 11 amazing fights, really well matched. Fighters from 12 different countries. We had five titles on the line, two world and three European. We had fights under the KW Senshi rules and KW full contact rules. We have plenty of knockouts and some really close, close fights. So like always, Senshi doesn't, doesn't disappoint and we prove that we are one of the best organizations of the world. Thank you so much. Well, this is Senshi 7. The last fight was really great as the other ones. And we have a new champion right now. And this is in the red corner, Sergey Brown from Germany, the new Vaco Pro world champion in category 81.4 kilograms. The prize will be presented by Mr. Peter Irts, three times K1 heavyweight champion. Make some noise for Peter Irts! One more time, the new Vaco Pro World Champion, category 81.4 kilograms, Sergey Brown from Germany. Let's show your appreciation to his opponent, Alexander Menkovic from Serbia. This was really one of the greatest fights of the night. It was a great final of Senshi 7, of course. Don't forget, yes. Legendary pictures with the legendary Peter Arts. This man is history in Muay Thai K1 kickboxing. Thank you guys for this show tonight.